Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas. In this video, we're going to be making a hair on spoutin that is the simplest design you'll ever see. It takes about two minutes to make one. You need three bottles for this. I'm using the Sam's water bottles. I like them because the lids screw on nice and tight. They don't leak. You can opt for your larger vessel being a milk jug with the bottom cut off with a screw on lid. You don't want to use the push on caps. You need polyethylene tubing, which is one quarter inch diameter. This stuff you pick up at Lowe's or Home Depot for a 25 foot roll, it is $2.50. So not expensive at all. This whole project will cost you less than $3. It should take you less than two minutes to make if you're pretty quick. The nice thing about the polyethylene tubing, it's very sturdy so you can shove it into your hole and it cuts with scissors or better to cut it with a knife. So adult supervision for the cutting part, everything else kids can do. I have a drill bit that is just shy of one quarter inch in diameter. You can use one quarter inch, works fine. For your first cap, you drill a nice hole in there. That's all you do. Any of the loose plastic, try to get it out. I'm plugging the end and I'm squeezing it and there is no water dripping. This creates a perfect seal. If I squeeze it, you can see that there's water that actually comes out. Our first cap with the single hole is done. I'm gonna put that on this bottle. Bottle number two. You wanna be very careful not to hit the threads on this. All that you do is drill. You get it started. Once you start grabbing, reverse your drill bit. Then you melt your way through and that creates a cleaner hole on the second side. So you have two holes in your cap right now. Your poly tube fits in there. You have two holes that your poly tube will fit into. And this will not leak either. For the poly tube, what you wanna do is cut three foot sections of it. You can go longer four foot if you want. Bottle number one is gonna be our fountain bottle. So you want to cut the bottom of it off. Just take a knife, cut it off. Now bottle number one will get the cap with the single hole in it. Bottle number one with the single hole in it has a piece of poly tube pressed in it, just about a half inch to a quarter inch deep, and it's screwed in place. This does not go all the way in. This will be our fountain. So bottle number one is completely done. Bottle number two has the dual holes, two holes in it. Bottle number two is connected to our fountain bottle, which the tubing pushes all the way to the bottom. So you have your fountain bottle and this bottle with the hose all the way to the bottom. You're gonna take another piece of poly tube and in your second bottle, you're gonna push it in. But you're not gonna push it in all the way. You're only gonna go in about an inch. So this is how it would look. You have your fountain tube going all the way down and your exiting tube going one inch. So we have something like this right now. Make a cool beer bong, actually. Okay. Bottle number three has two holes as well. So you have a tube coming out of your fountain, a tube going into bottle number two all the way to the bottom, a high tube on coming out of here. This goes into bottle number three part way. So your high tube is high on both bottles. Both bottles, this tube's connecting these two bottles together. They're both high. They're not going all the way to the bottom. That's it. Your final step is your fountain exiting tube. This one goes all the way to the bottom. It's time to add a little danger to this project. You don't have to do this, but it makes it a lot easier to demonstrate. These are rare earth magnets that are real powerful. Also increase the price of your project dramatically. But what I like doing is taking a magnet on each side. Now this will mount to a metal wall. So you can make the, move the arrangements up and down. And if you're dealing with kids, eh, don't let them screw with the magnets because these will snap their little fingers off. While I do this, I want you guys to take a look at this image, study it for as long as you have to, 
if your fountain doesn't work, it's probably because you got the hose arrangements wrong. cool part about this is the lower this bottle is the less volume that you'll get out of the top hose and the longer your fountain will run the higher this is the more water volume you get and the quicker that this bottle is going to empty out and this one's going to fill up you're taking water from here filling this bottle compressing air as the water displaces the air has to go somewhere it goes up the hose into this bottle which pushes the water out and up because air is compressed it's able to go higher than its original starting point this won't run forever once the vessel runs out of water and this one fills up it's done and the process has to start all over again larger vessels will last a long time you can do this with five gallon water bottles be a really cool experiment those will run for a really long time this is the simplest way to make a Heron's Fountain. Cost you less than three bucks. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.